Hello, dear friends! I am Violetta from Crafting with View of You. This video is a step by step tutorial for my new crochet mandala, Solar Storm. For this sample, I'm using yarn from hobby.com, and the yarn that I'm using is Twister Solid and Sultan Deluxe. These are the leftovers from my last projects. I'm also using a 2.5 mm hook. The size of your project will depend on the yarn and the hook size and also the tension. So I recommend you to finish your project first and then order the hoop um, a couple of inches larger than your finished mandala. This is the paid tutorial. The full video tutorial will be available with the purchase of the pattern. The pattern and the charts are available in my Ravelry store. The link is below this video. This mandala design can be done in various colors, so the color codes in the pattern might not match your colorway and you will need to input the codes for your own colors for each round of this mandala. And before we start crocheting, I would like to ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel and also join my group on Facebook and post your finished projects on Instagram. Please tag my name on Instagram so I can see what you've created. And now, let's get started! First round, let us start with yarn color A. We will start with a chain 10, so make a slip knot on the hook and work 10 uh, chain stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, and join into the first chain stitch. Join with a slip stitch like this. Make a chain stitch and work 16 single crochet stitches into this ring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now I'm going to work over this yarn tail the last six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So 16 single crochet stitches into the ring. Now we're going to cut the yarn. Pull this yarn out of the loop and use a tapestry needle. Thread this thread into the needle and we're going to close this round. Please insert the needle into the first single crochet stitch right under these two top loops from the front to the back and then back into this loop of the last single crochet that you made. Tighten, make this stitch disappear like this and now weave the end of this yarn into the back stitches like this. Okay, like this. So now the first round is finished and we can cut this yarn and also the yarn tail like this. Second round. In this round, I'm going to work with, uh, with yarn color B, which is yellow. And the stitches in this round are back post double crochet stitches. So we're going to work uh, double crochets, but not from the front like this, but from the back, okay? You can start with any of the single crochets, insert the hook from the back, and then into the front of the next single crochet stitch like this. Okay, so let's start. Make a slip knot on the hook, 
then yarn over hold it tight so it doesn't twist you see like this so um yarn over then insert the hook into the back of any of these single crochet stitches like this under the top two loops and then into the front of the next single crochet stitch yarn over pull up a loop and you see you have three loops on the hook yarn over pull through two loops and yarn over pull through two loops now your first back post double crochet is done let's chain one and then work a back post double crochet into the next stitch so you're going to insert the hook into the same stitch into which you worked from the front last time so into this one like this and then into the next single crochet from the front pull up a loop and work a back post double crochet so you see this is how it looks from the back and from the front you're gonna see this little um, stitch okay then chain one yarn over work a back post double crochet chain one then back post double crochet chain one back post double crochet you see back post double crochet chain one so like this 16 back post double crochets and a chain one in between them work like this all the way until the end and join this um, round with a slip stitch into the first back post double crochet at the beginning of this round you do not need to weave the yarn the yarn tails with a needle because you can work single crochet stitches of the next round over the yarn tails so this is my last back post double crochet let me check one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and the last one sixteen oops chain one and close this round with a slip stitch into the first back post double crochet make a chain stitch and you can cut the yarn and work over these yarn tails in the next round third round please join with a slip stitch into any of the back post double crochets of the previous round so let's join and we're going to work a single crochet stitch into each stitch and space of the previous round so we're going to work a single crochet into the same stitch and I'm going to work over this yarn tail and actually I'm going to place this yarn tail to work over it as well so joining the yarn and then work a single crochet then single crochet into the chain space single crochet into the next back, spoke, uh, back post double crochet then single crochet into the next chain space single crochet into the back post double crochet single crochet into next chain space and like this all the way around this round single crochet into each chain space and into each stitch do not work this round too tight okay it, no, it needs to be a little bit loose so it doesn't pull inwards And I'm going to place this yarn tail along the edge so I can work over it. And 
and the last stitch into the chain space and join this round with a slip stitch into the first single crochet the beginning of this round now you can pull slightly at the edges to straighten and this is your third round next round please work with the same um, yarn and we're going to work back post double crochet stitches in this round um, as well through the uh, single crochet stitches and uh, to make the first back post double crochet we're going to work a back post slip stitch into the next stitch right here so we're going to insert the hook into the next single crochet from the back then into the next single crochet from the front and make a slip stitch then work chain six and this chain six will count for a first back post double crochet and then chain three okay then we're going to skip the next stitch and work a back post double crochet into the next stitch so we're skipping this one and working into this stitch back post double crochet then chain three skip one stitch and work into the next back post double crochet so we're not working into this stitch but into this one back post double crochet then chain three skip one stitch back post double crochet chain three skip one stitch back post double crochet and like this so chain three so back post double crochet chain three skip one is the pattern so, and you need to repeat it 16 times around this round and you're going to join with a slip stitch into the third chain of the beginning chain six and the last back post double crochet in this round so back post double oops back post double crochet chain three and close into uh, close this round by joining into the third chain of the beginning chain six make a, a chain stitch and you can cut this yarn and round four is done now pull gently like this And here it is. Round five. In round five, we are going to work with yarn color B, which is yellow for uh, me. And in this round, we work shell stitches, which is four double crochets, picot, and four double crochets into the same stitch, and then single crochet into the chain space, single crochet into the back post double crochet, and single, single crochet into the chain space. So we will start with a standing double crochet, make a slip knot on the hook, and work a double crochet actually into any of these um, uh, double crochets. Or back post double crochets and work four double crochets into the same stitch so one two three and four then work a picot picot is a chain three and then slip stitch into the base of this chain actually into these two top into these two loops of the last double crochet that you worked make a slip stitch and then work four more double crochets into the same stitch one two three and four okay so this is your shell stitch then work a single crochet into the next 
uh, chain three space, which is this one right here. Then a single crochet into the back post double crochet, then single crochet into the next chain space. And this is the pattern for this round. We're going to work a shell into the next back post double crochet. So four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. And then picot, chain three, slip stitch into the top two loops of the double crochet. And then four more double crochets into the same stitch. Then single crochet into the chain three space, single crochet into the double crochet, and single crochet into the next chain three space. So we, uh, we, we did two repeats. Please continue like this until the end of this round. And the last repeat of this round, work a shell stitch into the next back post double crochet, then chain three, picot, four double crochets into the same stitch, then single crochet into the chain space, single crochet into this back post double crochet, and then a single crochet and join with a slip stitch. Actually here we can also use a needle to make a pretty join. So I'm going to thread the yarn into the needle and join into the first double crochet like this. Here I have this yarn tail. I'm going to make a little knot with the ends into the back of the stitches. A little back and forth like this. And you can also weave the ends of these yarns at the same time. And round number five is done.